Fisher at three under par three, and they're just inside the top ten. So far, a little bit of a slope there. Greens. You mentioned the greens, they are like lightning, Tim. I'll tell you what, 13 feet three on the stump is scarily fast. It really is. Look at that. Yeah, yeah Fisher's got the best part of 40 feet here up the hill. Breaks double, double breaker. Comes right to left at the beginning and then a little bit left to right at the end. So there's not a great deal in it. <coughs> Very good putt indeed from where he was. Yeah, this is a beautiful driving hole, this one. You can hit it as far as you like. There's a bunker down the left-hand side, 334, playing at least 10 downhill. A little bit of left to right. Top tracer following that ball. I do like that, don't you? It's great. And that slab on the right, which shows the flight of the ball. I mean, for us, I mean, it's no good for them, they can't see it on the course, but I mean, it's... <laughs> yeah, I love it. I do love it. Good. What's Fisher got? Fisher's got 156. From bang, smack in the middle of the fairway. It's a very tense atmosphere in this group. Understandably. Do, you know, it's, I mean, especially for guys who've been out here for a long time, you know, the thought of having to go back to the challenge tour or, you know, dropping down a level in, in your status is, is not easy to take. So huge to try and keep their exemptions. Very nicely done from Fisher. Another birdie for him, his first of the homeward journey. So he moves to four under. Oh, <coughs> That'll do, they've got it surrounded there. Excellent stuff. For a very tight pin that uh, Trish Johnson was talking about. Course record holder here, Oliver Fisher. Four holes left to go. 201 to the pin. He's at four under. Well, he's finished it that time, hasn't he? That was rammed in by Oliver Fisher. That is his sixth birdie of the day. He dropped a shot at the par 3, 16th. He's got 206 yards here, Fisher, coming in from the left-hand side. Sit down, he says. Nice. He's such a talented player, Ollie Fisher. You know, we wonder why, you know, how can he have only had one win? Straight up into the wind. There's a bit of breeze coming up here at the moment. Slattery find the green with his second shot. Trish. Oh, good shot. Yes, yeah, Slattery found the right hand side of the green, but he's a long, long way from the flag. Yeah. And he finishes it with a closing birdie. Who shot 59 here in round two last year opens up with a six under par round of 65. And that'll do nicely in his position. Ollie, a terrific opening round of 65. Just give us your thoughts on that one. How eh? pleased with your day's work? Um, yeah, really pleased. Really pleased to. Um, I played very solid today, so it was nice to kind of go round and have a lot of chances and um, feel like I was kind of in control of what I was doing. So. Um, you know, last week was quite a tough week in, in France in the end, so um, it's nice to kind of get, get rid of the clouds and that, which were here on Tuesday and Wednesday, and, you know, we've got nice blue skies around a course that's, that we're all familiar with, and, yeah, nice, nice start to the week. Talking about being familiar with this course, obviously we're all remembering the incredible 59 that you shot last time around. Just reflect on it for us now, a year later. Are you playing every hole thinking, yeah, I did this, I did that? Yeah, I actually played really well today and thought, cool, I've got to be six shots better to shoot <laughs> that again. But, uh, 
No, it was uh, it was obviously a great day, um, the Friday last year. So um, you know, and this course has given low scores over the years. So I think you know, it, you know, anything's possible out there. But um, you know, I'm just delighted to go out there. You know, with a little bit of expectation. I felt this week having shot a, a good round last year, albeit you know three other sort of mediocre ones. Um, you know, it's a nice start to the week. 112th in the race to Dubai. It might be enough where you are already, but a good performance would see it off. How are you approaching the week mentally and sort of tactically? Um, it's a good question. I don't. Um, I'm just trying my best, really, Tim. Um, I think the best thing I can do is kind of go out there and and really be clear about what I'm doing and kind of not let my mind wander too much into kind of what could happen and what what if this and what if that. So um, the way I'm approaching it is just that it's a it's a week that I like. It's a course that I like. Um, you know. I go out there and give it my best and kind of try and keep myself in in the moment as much as I can and you know we'll see what happens. 65 is a great start while playing. Thank you very much. To watch European tour video, click here. Subscribe, click here.